just sit right back and you'll hear a tale, a tale of a fateful trip that started from this tropic port aboard this tiny ship. The mate was a mighty sailing man, the skipper prayed. Scientist, yes. Mad, no. <laughs> Go into the... On guard! What the... What the... What the... What the... What the... What the... Hey, where's my coat? It's not one of these. Well, do you see a black leather jacket? Fingertip length, like the one Pacino wore on Serpico? Because if you don't, you owe me $379. Well, maybe you didn't see the sign. I see it. Baby, why did you leave me? Why did you leave me behind? I don't know where you're sleeping. Professor, this can't be telephone lines. But it is. I'm positive of it. Where'd it come from? Well, it must have been the storm. The tides last night were higher and stronger than ever before, and the currents must have pulled this loop of the cable up into the lagoon. It's the greatest piece of luck in the world. Yeah. I know it even been luckier. What? If it came with a telephone booth. <laughs> but you're resting on my mind. Was so gentle, honey. You was on doing all this thing. Wonderful guy, wonderful. And his wife, Natalie Schaefer, uh, uh, Mrs. Howell. She was a broad. She was a, uh, a New York actress uh, for many years in the theater. Was so kind. I'm not sure where you're sleeping, but you're resting. Again. And you look 10 years younger. Oh, thank you. And you know what did it? It's the spirit of giving. That's true, darling, but you've always had the spirit of giving. I have? Yes, I remember you're distinctly telling me that you gave your partner the business. <laughs> yes, my dear, well, that was uh, something. I said when you left me, oh, darling, I swear it did burn. But I'm sitting here by the window. And garments have the power to take control of certain individuals, to possess them. You have sensed the power of the cloak. Anthony Perkins, Twin Peaks. Just waiting on your return. front of my wife. <laughs> oh, what I meant was that this particular type of fuel loses its potency when it gets old. Uh, nonsense, Professor. Haven't you heard? There's no fuel like an old fuel. That's what the winning was. Made me the happiest can be found. I'm not sure where you're laying down tonight, baby. But you're resting on my mind. Got it for yourself. It was a neighborhood. It's too easy a joke. I'll go up and borrow a cup of money for him. Through the years, Jim brought to life a slew of classic screen roles, yet only diehard cartoon buffs know to credit him. that's skinny enough that can crawl under this mine and loosen that fitting with this brass wrench. No, it's non-magnetic. But Skipper... Gilligan, Gilligan, you must be careful because this mine is sensitive. It's very, very sensitive. Say, isn't it against the law to tinker with Navy property? But if they can blame... Baby, why did...
Did you leave me? Why did you leave? just rerun over and over and over again. Your memories are that vivid. Oh yes. When I first started thinking about it, I, I always imagined it in black and white. Now it just transitions into color. The guys didn't have the same problems, hair, navels, not even what to wear. Must have been a sail at the marina. So, what'll it be today? Surrender to Ginger. Uh, I give up. How are you? I'm very well. You're very lovely. Little one, little one. There you go, you go. Thank you. Thank you. Now, this is the tale of our castaways. They're here for a long, long time. They'll have to make the best of things. It's an uphill climb. The first mate and his skipper too will do their very best to make the others comfortable in the tropic island nest. No fault, no.